All right, well, things didn't work out whenever I first worked on this thing to do a video on it. But uh, <coughs> we changed things around a little bit on it. I added uh, some old place to put the chains. Those little pipes right there to hang the chains. I put my own version of my safety hooks on there. It's got the long uh, shanks on it. So, oops, that's where they hang whenever they're not in use. So anyway, I always put those on all my trailers and uh, made a few little upgrades here and there. But uh, we put sides on it that uh, will replace the old sides. Anyway, each one of those is removable. So that's right behind the driver's thing. And we got plenty of tie downs. So uh, we can tie stuff off on the inside or the outside. Uh, got a tie down there. One right there. Each of these black things are removable. And then on the inside, <coughs> I got a tie down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine and those tie downs are just we needed some tie downs the first uh first couple trips we made with this thing and then we changed up the uh the way the hitching mechanism worked on a thing this is either a dump or swing gate or drop down gate i didn't want to lose my pins yeah oops let me pause this second so uh I got this to where it set it down. You have to bump it in there so it won't just come undone so you won't lose it. Then you pop the pin out. Then I got two different size pins to drop it in there where you don't lose it. Same thing with this pin down here. Put big D ring handles on it so they're easy to get in and out. So that comes up. And when it goes down in there, it's not gonna bounce out. You're not gonna lose it. It's not gonna bounce out and lose that one. And then we modified the chains. I put an extra hook on. An extra hook on, uh, well right now it's set up for drop it all the way down. Put an extra hook here where I can control that a little bit better. So whenever we do the dumping and spreading and I let the bottom out, I can control it from right there rather than way up here. It didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But, uh, and the size chain that you have to use to be able to utilize that headache, those headaches down there, ain't even worth fooling with. So that's why I did all this, but anyway. Uh, turned out nice. I'm happy with it. And we went ahead and welded the names like that's passenger side rear. That'd be passenger side middle. That'd be passenger side front. And that'd be front passenger, front middle, and front drivers. And then that's driver side rear. Because each one of these, well, they were basically the same. But, um,. The factory didn't bother. In other words, this panel right here, this wooden panel, is not the exact same length as that wooden panel because they didn't put the uh, two by four channel uprights in the exact same spot. So everything has to have its own little label. So there's driver side rear on that one. Otherwise, you end up spending a few extra minutes trying to figure out where the shit goes. So, uh, Driver's side front on that one, same thing. But uh, how many of you guys have trailers of any kind, any type, that didn't freaking have a spare tire with it? Well, this ain't no damn different. No freaking spare tire. So we remedied that. So I've pretty much taken y'all around the trailer. Oops. Taking y'all, oops. I've taken y'all around the trailer and uh, no spare tire. 
you looked in the back, no spare tire, right? So, I was gonna put it right here, but it stuck that far enough and it blocked my view all in here. And it blocked the view, you know, any, anywhere right in here was blocked behind. I didn't like that too much. You know, I didn't wanna do that on the other side either. So I decided, well, as few times as you actually need a spare, just put it where it doesn't get in the way. You know? So, now to show you the spare tire. Bingo. So, if you need the spare tire, There she is. Now you don't have to raise it up this high to get it. I'm just raising this up and set it there for a second. But anyway, what we did on that, if anybody's interested, there was a, uh, I'm just going to move this around so it's going to be a little cockeyed. I'm not going to take it off the tripod just for, Oh shit, I'm tape this thing. Right, huh? My little tripod adapter anyway. It's easy enough, huh? Alright, <clears throat> so there's a piece of channel. I think it's like uh, one and a half by five. And it runs right across there. So what we did was put a piece of, uh, I think it was two inch channel, I think is what I got under there. I can't even remember might be able to see that right now but I can't but uh anyway and then I took a piece of uh I think seven inch by one quarter well I cut a seven inch diameter out of one quarter flat plate I think it was seven may have been eight yeah seven inch and then I put the bolt pattern in there all you need didn't even really need but one bolt it's not like it's going anywhere because this sits just below just below that but even if it did put a little bit of pressure on it so whenever i tighten those bolts down it actually puts about a one eighth of an inch pressure going down on it so there's no vibration so anyway if anybody's ever uh, wants to do anything like that i've done that several times in fact that trailer across the street that larimore i did basically the same thing on it i don't know if you can see it but the trailer on this side the spare tires on the other side that's actually uh compressed up against look at that shit isn't that weird it's like it's two different huh. all i did was zoom out and zoom back in now it's got videos messed up on it anyway let me uh stop that and restart it Anyway, I'm just going to restart the video, but uh, I don't know what that weird video weirdness was. Let me set this back down. And uh, I'll show you what we did with the uh, sides on it. I think you can kind of like it. Cut them to where they were about an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch. Um, spacing and it's been sitting out we've been having a bunch of, we've had a bunch of, of uh, rain so this could be worst case scenario but I did treat the boards with a mixture of um, hydraulic oil and uh, kerosene so I've got a video on that 42 to 46 weight hydraulic oil um, five gallons to one and a half gallons of kerosene and just mop it on. I think there's about, oh, maybe ten coats on there, if I'm not mistaken. Come in. You can see it. 
Slide that out. Or slide it back in. Same thing here. And then, if we want to, we'll just set this right here for a second. open up part of one side now that right there is four pieces of uh, three-quarter inch angle by eighth inch and they're rounded off ground to fit This one here, let's see if I can move it. Let's move it over. And so, this one, same thing, but I welded a piece of two inch square in the bottom for a bolster, just for shits and grins. But anyway, I'll turn it out real good. thing with these up here. Well, that one's a little bit snug. But you can do the same thing here. Really no reason to take the front out. But it all fits nice and snug. Quite a bit of welding and kit in there. up a load of a quart of firewood in the morning which will pretty much fill the back up I like 20 inch wood instead of 16 from a fireplace I have an old uh, mama Fisher so we can basically put five rows six foot across 24 inches high and five rows back of 20 inch wood comes all the way back to uh well, it went in about 16 or so inches of the back of the trailer that's a pretty full load for a uh, dump trailer but anyway a couple of people saw me doing this and was wondering how it turned out so there you go a little ingenuity but, uh, but i like it and i put a set of uh air shocks on my truck not too long ago and if any of you guys know what that's all about that's me too all right cheers everybody uh y'all hadn't seen the led lights i got a video up on that let me see if you can see these i've got these going up my little portable carport that's them <coughs> that's the integrated uh light fixtures and there's two rows of leds both on a 45 degree angle got a whole box of them over there you know, about 25 of them at one time and uh i think i paid like uh, 12 50 or so a piece with shipping to get some idea of the size that board right there is a deck board ripped down to two and a quarter inches wide all right so uh Hell, that light's probably, I'm looking at it, maybe an inch and, probably not even an inch and a quarter wide. Anyway, two of them on each run. I hadn't run the electricity yet. I just stuck them up there the other night. But I don't think I'm a fool with a video on that. 
because uh, I've already got one on those in there, but I want to show you what they look like. Uh, got to put them bus tires up. Just did a uh, swap out on the Terramite and starter repair. Boy, that thing behooved us for a little while. But cheers, you guys. You got any questions, ask. I'll do my best to uh, answer up for you. Talk to you later. And this is what we do with the trailer on a cold, snowy day. <laughs> Went and got us a load of locust. Full cord. That's uh, 20 inches, 5 rows, ricks, whatever you want to call it, that are uh, 6 foot wide, 31 inches tall. It's roughly just a little bit over a cord. And one of the two homemade pickaroons that I made. I love these things. That's just an old broken uh, uh, sledgehammer handle. That's a piece of inch and a quarter black water pipe. That's a piece of uh, quarter inch round bar rod, whatever. Stuck through there and bratted the ends down. And this is some, uh, that's a piece of uh, 1041 cold roll steel and that's the tip profile I like the other one a little bit better it wasn't quite as long and this one is sharp on the top you can tell that yeah flat on the underside and sharp on the top let's see hold on a second let's get it laying up here yeah, flat under here. Come on, sharpen. Flat under here and sharp on the top here. And uh, goes in and out in the wood pretty, pretty nicely. So, that saves a lot of. Uh, back work well we got a little bit of firewood moving to do and there's where she goes that and I have a two-faced cord rack around the other side cheers